I'd just like to say a massive thanks to Let's Play Footy to up let me upload this video to their channel. Hey guys, it's Matt here, and today I have got a squad builder, and today it is a quite a good squad builder, I have to say. It's a 150k squad builder, and it's got some very good players in it. And <clears throat> to be honest, it's got some of the best players that I've used, and some not so good players. But I hope you do enjoy this squad builder and let's get it started straight away. And in goal we've got Petacek and he is a outstanding goalkeeper on this game and in real life. He's cost me 10,000 coins and got 85 diving and 85 reflexes. And an 84 overall player which is really good. 6 foot 5 so he's good in the air and good at picking out those crosses. And he's just an all round great goalkeeper. So our first centre back we have Mr OP. And it's David Louise, and he's got 78 pace, 77 defending. And I don't really have to say much about him, guys. You all know what he is like. But if you don't know, he is just one of the best defenders in the game who's under the eight, who's under 80 rated and is not a rare. He's 79 overall, and he's just insane. He's got great pace, and it seems like he wins every single challenge. And our second centre-back, not so good, but still is quite good. Still isn't bad. It's Gary Cahill, and I picked him up because I he was a cheap player. You can get company. He um, fits well on his team, very well actually. But he was a little bit expensive for me at the time. So Cahill's got 69 pace, which is a good stat for him, and the rest are a bit all round. But our third centre back, Gerard PK, he's got 62 pace, 86 defending, and 81 heading. Six foot four, cost me 7,400 coins. He's a very good defender, one of the best in the BBVA, I think, to be honest. And he's got 86 rated overall, so that kind of tells you his ratings. But our first centre defensive mid, he is one of the best players I've used. It's um, 90 rated Javi. He's got 93 passing at 87 dribbling. They're pretty much the only stats you need. He's just a good playmaker. He picks out passes, inch perfect. Um, and he's really cheap as well. He's dropped in price loads. He went from about 90k to 40k what he is now. And our second centre defensive mid is more of a defensive mid than Xavi. It's Torre, 77 pace, 83 defending, 84 heading, 73 shot, 79 dribbling, 80 passing. Solid stats all the way around. Only cost me 22,000 coins. He's a very solid player. I highly recommend him. One of my favourite centre defensive mids. And that's why I've put him in the team. And he, he, he's very good, and I just love his defensive stats. Um, but our right mid isn't a right mid. He is a right wing back, but he still gets a nine chemistry. And I used him because I wanted to like switch it around, use different players, and it's Micah Richards. He's very strong, good on the attacking and defending. The only thing that I have a problem with is his shot. His shot is horrendous, and it's just so, so, so hard to score with him. That's why I recommend... If you get into the box, cross it, do a sweaty goal, whatever, I don't care, as long as you don't shoot. I recommend more of a Theo Walcott or an Aaron Lennon, because he they are better players with better shot, and his dribbling's okay, not too bad, but he only has two star weak, weak foot, so you guys will probably want to switch him round and get a better player. So our left mid is completely the opposite, more of an attacking player. He's got 84 pace, 85 dribbling. He scores more goals than Richards. He's got 74 shot and 79 passing. He's got that 5 star weak foot and the 4 star skill moves which is what he wants so you can do Ronaldo chops as I love as I and everyone else loves because <laughs> they're the most OP thing in the game apart from David Luiz. So our, our centre attacking mid you could have 3 players probably in this position. You could have David Silva. Uh, Santi Corzola could even pick up uh, Inform uh, Michu, he'll be a good buy, but I decided to pick Juan Mata because he's my favourite centre attacker mid and um, he's just a great all round player with 83 pace, 8 77 shot and 87 dribbling which you can tell because he uses it a lot, he's a bit more of a forward, he's got a high attacking work rate so that's why I picked him. So two strikers, 
you could pick anybody in the BPL but I just picked two people that I want to use because I haven't used before Van Percy, 78 pace, 89 shot and 84 dribbling and I have to say I've been a bit disappointed with him he's got four star skill moves but he's just he doesn't have 78 pace it is less than that that's what it feels to me he's too overrated on this game well he needs his stats need to be moved up maybe the informal team of the seasons are better but I can't afford them and but it's just he doesn't feel like he's strong enough he gets tackled off the ball really easily and that's why I recommend you get uh, Rooney or anybody else, so, someone different to Van Persie because he's not the best. But this guy, this guy is the complete opposite. I wasn't expecting much from him because he, is, he isn't he is the best striker in the world. But he is an absolute tank. He's finishing so strong. He shoots from anywhere and just goes in. He's got, he must have beast long shots, 4 star skill moves, 85 shot, 83 pace and 84 dribbling. One of the best strikers I've used in the game. He's absolutely insane, guys. I highly recommend him for any team you're going to make because he is a very strong replacement for the, for Aguero and I think he, he deserves a spot in the team. So that's the team, guys. It only cost me 150,000 coins, which isn't too bad considering it's got a 90-rated player. And he could swap out Van Persie for Rooney and Cahill for company. And if you really wanted to, you could put... Terry there but he doesn't have enough pace and another alternative is Fabregas for Javi if you can't afford him which will make it a lot cheaper and that's the team guys I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time